So Drake dropped his diss a couple of days ago. Right, and right. Rick Ross responded literally in a matter of hours. Two Ooh. hours after the diss came out, before the official song ever even came out. So first it leaked, right? And so Rick Ross didn't even respond to this the actual it. diss. He responded to the leak. So in Drake's diss, he finally addresses Rick Ross. And a lot of that beef came from the fact that right when Metro Boom and the Future went at him, they basically drew lines and was like, you know, stay over there if you're going to be over right, there. Right. We don't trust you. You got to pick a side. Around that time, people started picking sides. People started unfollowing Drake. Rick Ross unfollowed Drake. And a lot of people didn't understand why. And it comes out because of he addresses it in his diss where he fires back at Drake saying the reason why he unfollowed him was because he sent a cease and desist to French Montana. Now, when French Montana was dropping his last album, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken, he had a verse in a song with Drake. And in that song, well, right before the album dropped, Drake pulled his record. Apparently, Drake was pulling his records that he had coming out at that time because he just didn't want any music at all. It, the way it came out was he didn't want any music at all coming okay, out. Okay, okay. You know, it wasn't a personal thing. Yeah, it was a business thing. Yeah, at that like point. I don't want anything with me on it coming out because I feel like maybe he thought he was too saturated. Okay. And he was probably about to drop his own shit too. Right. So he was much. like, let me make sure I'm not yeah. oversaturated. But you know, also he's given French Montana songs before. So he pulled his record, and that is the reason why Rick Ross said that he had a problem with Drake. Now, after that happened, French Montana said that he had no issues with Drake. Because he uh, knew it was he, a business move. Yeah, and Lil Wayne hopped on the song instead of Drake, so it seemed like it all kind of got right, squared it worked away. Out. So, which also makes it seem to me like it's a little weird. Like, that's probably not why you really had an issue with him. Yeah. That's the reason why you're saying you had an issue, mm -hmm. but if that's the case, then why are you getting in this beef shit with everybody else? It's like that one friend that tries to take up for you with the friend that they don't like. Exactly! Like, you being real petty. You done found a reason. You, you was waiting on a reason. You know, Rick Ross looked bad because a lot of his big songs, or actually all of his big songs, are Drake features. His biggest records, mm -hmm. all in the top 10, mm -hmm. came from mm -hmm. Drake. So, I I mean, you can say what you want about him, but that's the reason why in Drake's record, you know, he said that. And his diss push ups that where he called out pretty much half the industry because half the industry was coming at him mm -hmm. from the weekend to ASAP Rocky to Ja Morant to goddamn Future to it's literally like a 20v1 at this point. When Drake dropped push ups where he addressed Rick Ross, he called him Officer Ricky. You know what I'm saying? He talked about, you know, him being Drake acting like 50 Cent and he brought up the 50 Cent situation. Talked about Rick Ross being too old to hop in. He kind of did him a little too much. And Rick Ross. Ross basically made a whole song calling him a white boy, saying that you're trying to be cool with the nigga. You can't be cool that you got a BBL and you got whoa, your nose whoa, done. Whoa, yeah, he's whoa. trying to say that Drake got his facts and got a face six pack and got his nose done. <laughs> you know, the whole thing was a little bit all over the place. And then Rick Ross tried to do the 50 Cent play where he went online and started dropping memes and Instagram no, posts nonstop not trying 50. to make fun of Drake. So Rick Ross dropped this on Instagram calling him BBL Drizzy. Uh, he shared their text messages between each other. Ah, uh, Cupcake Drake, tell your mama you stayed out past your curfew, white boy. You wanted to hang at the park with the niggas, smoke weed with the niggas while we washed our old school Chevys. White boy, you got a Chevy, white boy? I doubt it. But anyway, big nose. <laughs> <laughs> Big nose. And so Rick Ross in his song was like, you ain't want to look like your daddy. So you cut your nose. He was those oh, emotions. Wee. So look. And actually, I think this was brilliant by Drake because immediately after Rick Ross brought up the nose thing, I started seeing it go viral online where people were like was taking pictures of his old nose and his nose now trying to say he got his like, nose done. it's done. Oh, look, it changed. <laughs> but this was the perfect way to prove that he didn't get a nose job. So this is a text conversation between his mom, I guess, heard about this or saw this on the internet and mm -hmm. asked him about it and then he responded to her. So she was like, Obs, the internet is saying you got a nose job. You look the same to me in the kitchen today. I can't believe you would get one without me and then she had like a you know laughing face because you know i always wanted one don't tell me you got tattoos without me and now this too and so he was he put out laughing emoji laughing emoji i would have got us a two for one deal if i went ma it's coming from rick ross the guy I did songs with he's going loopy off the manjaro i guess it's weed what's oh i don't know what manjaro is it might be a drink for you i don't know mm. sound like maybe some shit out my tax bracket i don't know <laughs> <laughs> right. he's going loopy off the manjaro he hasn't eaten in days and it's turned him angry and racist he's performing at proms for money it's bad don't worry We'll handle it. Oh, wow. <laughs> And I think this is what Drake was talking about because the same day he dropped a diss, he did a show and it kind of looks like he's in the college auditorium. Not to talk shit about, you know, it's packed in that bitch, but he's in here. I mean, look at the outfit. He's in here with a sweatshirt with Drake's face on it and performing Weird. the songs that they did together. His biggest hits. I'm gonna try to see this nigga right here. All I care about is money in the city that I'm from. I'm gonna sip until I feel it. I'm gonna smoke until it's done. I don't really give a fuck. Okay. The sad part 
hard is. That's really your hardest records, G. That's like, the hardest. Slick. He was like, like I got to get out of your career. But you know, honestly, I think it was smart on his part because if he waited to perform these songs, then he can never perform them again. But if you hop on the same day and you perform it, like I don't give a fuck. I don't up. care. Then this is not going to be able to say nothing. <laughs> so it kind of was smart. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, because if he waited and then he like six months from now, he back and like, oh, now you got to go back it's and like, perform in a Drake song. You know like, what I'm saying? No, he was scared to do it. Exactly. Oh, now you feel like it? Now you want to do it. And so I ain't going to lie. I'll be feeling Drake's plight because of all of these guys got the Drake stimulus package. Shit. All of them. Your biggest records came from me, dog. You just, you know, first number one record came from Drake. The second number one record came from Drake. The man is a legend. Come on, G. Even Kendrick Lamar, when he first came up, went on tour with him and ASAP Rocky went on tour. Yep. And Kendrick Lamar went on tour with Drake when they first came out. Like, Ace. he really, and now they all want to have a problem with him. I ain't gonna lie. I feel his plight. I feel his plight. It's like, how y'all, like, not mother may and I to him? Because he literally created y'all, like, quit sometimes. This is a more Rick Ross post. <laughs> Here you go. Who knows? One thing about um, I'm gonna say this. You niggas with them BBLs, you niggas. I'm speaking specifically to you niggas with BBLs. If you got a fake body, you got a fake mind. Lead that sh to them cute bitches <laughs> walking around in YSL heels. <laughs> Not you bitch niggas I love in OVO. It's so funny, bro. Like the pastrami passy. I love the nigga voice, bro. It's hilarious. You sound like your old ass uncle that's trying to let me learn you something, nephew. Facts. So look, the bridge of your nose somehow got smaller. BBL Drizzy. I ain't gonna lie. It looked the same to me. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, it's just different angles. Like, <laughs> yeah, it looks the same to me. If he had two straightforward pictures, it would literally look the same. And then also, as you get older, you lose collagen in your face. So you your right. face gets So his nose might have got slimmer. You know what I'm saying? The beard makes his face look smaller because the True. beard is so big. Like, he's let's smiling be real. right here versus frowning. Right. You know what I'm like, that's gonna change how your face I don't looks. think the thing that's what I'm saying if Drake would have just came out and made a post being like no nah, I ain't get a nose job no one would believe him but the fact that you posted a conversation with your mom it makes like nobody's gonna think you're lying about that I no. feel like that was a great way to prove that this don't make sense that was an easy receipt yeah that was like Drop so it, smart ain't got nothing else to say yeah like that and was it's like, funny that the mom was like not a two for one <laughs> yeah facts now did he probably get the fuck abs done probably but I could have swore but well, I don't know I couldn't remember who got it the but tummy it, tuck thing not the tummy tuck but lipo 360 60? Nah, the thing where they make your stomach smaller. Gastric bypass. I could have swore there was a report that he had got that. I think that. he did, and that's how he had lost all that weight so fast. Yeah, I could have swore that's, that's what he what got. Happened. But I'm not going to put it on him. But I could have swore that that was a story a Almost few years positive. ago. Yeah, and that was like a whole thing. Didn't he like get sick or something at one point? Yeah, he was and having aneurysms on yeah, the plane. Yeah, he almost died. Yeah. Yeah, that's when he was still big. They made him get that, I think. All I'm saying is for you to be body shaming out here is crazy yeah. work. And you used to be. And he not even. You you still pretty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't Only. small still, yeah. but you used to be home. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, <laughs> I enjoy the beef. I think that out of all of his challengers, Rick Ross is the most vocal because he's most into playing the game because he understands like, I don't think, even though Rick Ross was rapping on the song, and we're mm. going to talk about the diss a little bit, even though he was rapping on the record, it was cool, but my problem with it is Drake's was a hit. You know what I'm saying? And yep, I like don't, everything else. You know what I'm saying? Like Drake's record, they going to be playing that in a strip club for sure. Rick oh, yeah. Ross, it was cool, but like I don't ever need to hear it again. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then he tried to talk about the fact that you know you got writers, you got ghostwriters. I feel like at this point that's a lame conversation to have because you can't talk about Drake's pen when you needed his pen. That's my problem. And my thing, even is, if it is a team behind him, you still needed yeah. that team. And now all of a sudden you gonna point the finger but, at him. But you gotta think about it. At that level, when you are literally a pop star, you are going to get writers and you are going to write for other people yeah. if you have the ability. He is one of the big biggest ghost writers and biggest writers in the game period does he also have writers work for him yeah he get different styles different flows that's the reason why he's able to do so much with his music yeah. and his, his range is so crazy but like when it comes to pure writing ability like you can't discount it so no. i don't know what we're talking about here and you was okay with him having these writers until when guess, it was helping your career now you bored and at home it don't make a lot of sense and he I'm got pretty, a whole bunch of time on his hands and i think drake gonna respond on his next record i think he's waiting on i think the main person he won't smoke with is kendrick yeah. it's the whole 
whole record that he dropped was basically basically you know it was a kendrick and everybody else record but it was you know it was about you so i feel like once kendrick responds then we'll get the part two to the rick ross thing i don't think he gonna go out of his way to go at rick ross because he he's working. not even in the like the last record the meek mill and rick ross record so like what fifteen thousand his first week like you know what i'm saying so right 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 yeah so i don't know but the whole thing looks bad so he would lower his stock by dissing him back like by going back and forth to him. give him a real battle yeah, he yeah. i feel stop. like at this point like yeah a few years ago that would have made perfect sense right now that I ain't worth it i don't feel like drake is getting up out of bed for that beef mm -mm. you know what i'm saying so we'll see how it go but i think it's gonna be fun to watch when drake does respond to kendrick to see rick ross it. get some of these get some too